hi guys so I thought that in lieu of a real video I would show you guys like some behind-the-scenes stuff and really just take you on a tour um, this is gonna be virtually unedited except for me adding a couple clips on the top so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a feel of what I'm going through right now today this is dripping on me <laughs> It rained this morning pretty heavily, and uh, I went to replace this. I mean, I guess we had better just start with this. So I went to replace this seal with one that I was supposedly got from Oyster, and they ended up sending me the outer seals, not the inner seals. So I screwed it up when I was getting it out. I mean, you can see it's pretty messed up. So this thing pisses water. Also. I've removed all the screws from this window except for the top and this thing leaks. It was leaking before. I needed to re-bed it. That's why I did that. Um, this one surprisingly doesn't leak, but I'm still going to replace the window seal. Um, that window leaks. That window. That port light leaks. Pretty much everything leaks. <laughs> everything that's a connection through the hull on the boat leaks. So, uh, it's going to be a, a lot of work to, and it's rainy season. I'm still waiting for parts. I haven't gotten any parts yet. Um, it's been about a month since I ordered stuff and I don't know what the hell the customs are doing, but all that stuff is there. Um, the packages that you guys sent down are all with my friend and when he went to the airport to check in. Um, he said that he didn't do something right, and it... Stupid thing. Come on, man. He said he didn't do something right, and he wasn't able to check in, so uh, he's having to redirect his flight. He's still coming. He's coming here for work, so he's got to come here. And uh, it, it, he's just being delayed. So pretty much everything's delayed, uh, and I'm not upset about it at all. Um, I'm actually fairly comfortable here. It's, I'm getting used to the heat, um, and the, you know, the boat's pretty comfortable. I cleaned it up a lot. For a while I had, uh, um, the, all the floorboards ripped up and I was kind of tiptoeing around, but I decided just to clean it all up. It makes it a lot easier to, to live here. Um, let me show you around a little bit. So, the stairs are back in. Those were out for a long time. Um, I do... Um, meditation and work out every morning which is so nice to be able to have that space inside so even if it's raining I mean I can almost do jumping jacks in here it's huge so that's nice um, I've got water with the hose there so that's pressurized from the from the dock and then I've got water to do dishes with so I can actually have a clean apartment there's all my cups and plates there's all my food. I don't have a lot of food, but I have like powdered milk, some bread, some cereal, eggs, potatoes and onions, stuff like that. Um, some soup. There's some. This is um, really good Dutch, Dutch soup right here. Curry soup. So up. Um, the fridge still doesn't work because it needs to be. It needs the water. So that's still a little messed up. We should probably leave those open, huh? What do you think? Let it air out in there. Um, I've got a big blue tarp over the boat now. So the whole boat's covered. Not the whole boat, but just the boom. The boom's 20 feet on this boat. Oh, no, it's 19. And it covers, like, the whole entire cockpit. So the cockpit doesn't get wet when it rains. That's nice. And it keeps the sun off. That's why I did it. Um, batteries. I've got four lithium batteries I still haven't hooked up yet. I'm having problems charging one of them. One of them just refuses to go up to 14.4 or 14.3, which they should. But I'll figure that out. Right now I'm just running on the two starter batteries for lights. Um, let's see what else. I played guitar all day yesterday. It was nice. Um, most of my tools I kind of just leave out here. Uh, but as you can see i've cleaned up the table and stuff there's some parts spares over there but once this is all done this is going to look really nice and then there's my editing station i, I edit there a lot and it's comfortable 
Very comfortable. Way better than Zingaro. Um, this floorboard's still out. As you can see, I haven't really cleaned up after I did the... Oh my god, you see that drip? That is leaking too. I've got a new hatch for that. That I found a kid that's going to uh, install those hatches, all three of them. This one and the two back ones. Um, as soon as... Uh oh. We lost the camera thing. Oh, you know what? I just turned it off, I think. Oh no, it died. I think. Oh no, there we go. I'll turn it back on. Um, so, this is dripping. Now you start working, you bastard. Yeah, so that's dripping. Um, I'm having that guy install those hatches like the 1st of December. I still haven't cleaned up this. This is Des's space, so that's going to have to be cleaned before he gets here. But that's just like exterior cockpit cushions, the sails, the uh, my couple bags, the hatches. All that stuff can be stowed somewhere else. And this is just spares. This is spares too. All that, that box is full of spares. I'll figure out somewhere to put that. The The head is trashed because I had to remove all that stuff out of there to get the that big through hole out. That one there. Uh, I am going to replace the, um, what is it called, the tank, the holding tank, and I'm just for now going to rip it out. So, let's go back to my room, and we'll check it out. I didn't do any cleaning or anything. I just did laundry. That's what that is. That's clean laundry. Um, the fan I had to move inside, usually I put it above here. So I finally figured it out. What I need to do is put the mosquito net hoop on the outside of this hatch and then put the fan on top of it and it blows down on top of me. And it's actually really nice. I mean, I, I, I use a blanket at night, so that's super nice. Um, that hatch is pretty tight. <clears throat> this one doesn't leak, but it needs to be replaced. You see how crazed it is? Let's see if we can show that. You see that? Oop. Um, and then there's my head that I don't use because I don't have any water but it's nice it, it's pretty pretty nice I got the rudder out so the rudder's underneath here and that's really helping um, that's the last big job that I need to do so let me set this down and we'll talk about uh, what the next job is going to be. Okay, well, I hope you like my little uh, impromptu tour. And um, right now I'm looking for someone to clean the boat. So there's a guy coming over today that he's going to inspect it and tell me how much he's going to charge. It's pretty cheap. It's like $7 an hour or something. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and it's already like 80 degrees. It'll probably get to 90 today. Um, I'm actually going sailing today. So the, a guy posted to a Facebook group for Curacao cruisers and he said, Hey, I, I'd like to learn how to fly my spinnaker. I'm not sure how to fly it. It's new to me. If anybody has any, any experience on flying a spinnaker on cats, which is the Jenniker, that's an asymmetrical spinnaker. And I said, oh yeah, man, I, I, I love that sail. I would love to go just for the experience. You know, I, I, I don't need anything. You don't need to pay me or anything. And he ended up being really cool. Uh, him and his wife crossed the Atlantic in their lagoon and they didn't have a spinnaker. <clears throat> they just got one. They're a little afraid to fly it. So we're going to go out today. It's like 10 to 15 knots. It should be nice. Um, I'll film a little bit. I'm not going to film the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it should be a good day. It's been a long time since I've been sailing. And, uh, so yeah, no video today. This will be the only video. Um, I'm doing good. Uh, I'm a lot happier. I've got kind of a handle on what needs to happen. It is a lot of work, but it's not insurmountable. Um, and I'm happy. Uh, I'm, I'm putting out lots of videos. I'm working a lot. It's really nice to have a project. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm good. This is a really cool boat. It's a really cool project. I have all these plans. Like I'd like to re you know, replace the floors and replace the windows, uh, drapes and the, the, someone, um, a fan emailed me and said, Hey man, 
would you like to have this really nice fabric? I've, you can redo all your cushions with it. It's the best stuff you can get. I'm like, yeah. So, uh, hopefully that, that'll come through. That'd be cool if I got like a bunch of fabric to do the cushions. My mom came down to Florida. Um, I've got a guy with another YouTube channel that wants to build a radar arch with me. Basically for me, it's a solar arch. And then, um, I just got sponsorships by Rob Allen Spearfishing, so I'm getting two spear guns from him and a wetsuit. Um, uh, I would like to, I'm trying to sponsor with a company that to make uh, custom mattresses for the back and forward beds, maybe the side ones too, the pilot berths. That would be cool because um, the split mattress thing just sucks. But they're expensive, they're like 1500 bucks a piece. Um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I'm, I've been busting my balls, man putting two videos out a week and doing refit is pretty crazy. Uh, but it's nice to have a, like a project that, you know, I, I do bow work during the day and then I edit at night or I put together stuff and uh, it's a little bit hard to film by myself. I wish I had someone else here to help me film. Um, with the problem, I have a problem with crew now because all my crew was going to be Europeans, but now with Corona, I can't, um, uh, I can't sail into the States with European crew. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit crazy. Like, I guess that, um, I'm probably going to have to either cancel on Florida or f drive them up, sail them up to Bahamas. And then from Bahamas, we, they can fly to the States and then they can get on my boat. Well, that's, a, that's, that's an option or just solo sail up to the States. So, I told Des that he could come and he's like one of my oldest patrons and I really want to meet him and he's um, British so you know we're, we're gonna have to work it out um, I'm meeting another crew in Martinique in December 27th um, and then I'm, I'm gonna start coming up to Florida so yeah that's the plan anyway right now it changes a lot but um hopefully i'll get in the water soon i'm just waiting on through holes it's been a month since i it's been two and a half weeks since i ordered them i know that they're here in curacao they're just waiting on customs to clear them so however long that takes i'm not sure but um, hopefully i'll get them this week that'd be nice and then once i get that the rudder bearing out i just can't remove it right now tomorrow i'm going to go to the machine shop and get a, like a big bar and around the corners so it's exactly you know the circle that the bearing is and then tie a rope to it and use it come along and just like try to pull it out like that um yeah i think that's the best way and that was actually a suggestion from one of the saloon members so yeah that's it that's what's going on much love guys i gotta run i'm gonna upload this video and then go to the boat so uh yeah, wish me luck on sailing today. I'll, t I'll, I'll try to send you guys some pictures and some video, and um, I'll definitely send some stuff to the WhatsApp group. If you're not part of the WhatsApp group, the WhatsApp group is in the description of this. Much love. Later. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's a boat.